Are you thinking of converting a van? Um, if so, that's great, but I thought I'd make a short video just to kind of go through all the things that I think you really need to know before you start a van conversion. Firstly, it takes quite a long time. Um, I did it over 17 days, which sounds like it's really fast, but maybe I put in like 300 hours during those 17 days. Um, so if you're doing it while you have a job, you have to think, you know, split that 300 hours out over many days uh, and they'll give you an idea how long you take. Or if you think, well, okay, if I can do like three or four hours every day, you know, it'll give you an estimated timeline for how long it's gonna take. But the overview volume of work, 300 hours is probably a decent estimate. You also need to know what you want versus what you need. So building a van and like from your initial simple pipe dream can suddenly com completely get out of control. You're like, I'm gonna have a shower, a fridge, a freezer. Like, you know, do you really need a hot tub? But really, um, are you using it for weekends? Because if it's used for weekends, you probably don't need such a big setup. Are you using it for like, you know, short trips? Or are you gonna go for like a year or two years? Uh, all of these are kind of important. If you're going for a very long time, get a big van, one you can stand up in, a space that you can really enjoy uh, and do a really good job. You're gonna spend a lot of time kind of researching online, um, finding materials, uh, researching the best components, trying to find out what you wanna do and how it's gotta to fit together. Um, of course, check my blog. There's a lot of information on that, which you can have. Um, and that might save you a bit of time. I mean, I always spent quite a long time in the lead up to building my van or like to thinking about buying a van, doing loads of like research, trying to find cool pictures of vans to get inspiration. If you check the link in the description below, there's a Pinterest link and it will show you kind of like my board and you're gonna get some ideas maybe from that and it will save some time for Google image searching. It's not gonna be as cheap as you hope, but it can be really great value compared with say buying a new camper van, which could cost you like, 50, 60,000 pounds, you know, like you could get a really good van for maybe 13 or 14. In terms of like where the money goes, um, this van, I kind of generally use good quality components. So my solar system was 350 pounds. Uh, my batteries cost 300 pounds. LPG gas system added 300 pounds. Uh, fancy sink and tap cost 220 pounds. Uh, heater system about 450 pounds. Uh, so in, in all, that's about £1,650, uh, about $2,100. So it kind of really adds up. Obviously, you could kind of make a lot of that cheaper. So you could have like cheaper sink or reuse something or, you know, you can have a simpler battery system. You don't have to have solar uh, and that can kind of bring the cost down a lot. The rest of the cost uh, comes in from your materials and and other kind of components and little bits and pieces and it's amazing how much it can add up. It's probably like 30% of the cost comes from things that you don't think of when you start thinking about a van conversion. The other thing worth trying to figure out is do you have the skills you need to do a van conversion? Now like right now maybe you don't but the reality is is you can learn pretty much everything as you go and in the planning process. So you know, electronics, there's kind of like all the basic electronic principles you're gonna to need to know. There's kind of how solar systems work and how the batteries charge and discharge. These are things which will give you a basic understanding of what you're gonna make. When it comes to woodwork, mostly it's just like measuring, making things square, working out to make some simple joints. You know, I use some brackets or I just screw stuff together, put panels on the side. It makes stuff really strong and it's, it's just non, not complicated to do. And in the worst case, you kind of screw something up and you have to take it apart and redo it. And that would probably feel really frustrating while you're doing it, but you just gotta accept that maybe you're new to this sort of work. Uh, and it's just not a big deal. It's part of your learning process. Like maybe it costs you $50 to rebuild something, but you just spent that $50 on your education. So that's fine. The other thing you need to know is, are you actually better off just buying a pre-made camper van? Uh, other people do vans, they sell them. Maybe if it's something that you know, you're just completely impractical or you just do not have the time, just buy one second hand uh, and that might actually be the best way for you to do it. The other thing you need to understand is what is it like to live in a van and do the whole van life? Um, in reality, it's probably not entirely Instagram filter, um, but you know, depending on your personality and the things you like to do, you need to kind of understand if it is for you or not. 
One thing you could consider is doing like a mini van trip. So maybe like one week somewhere or a few days where you rent a van off a, a company and there's loads of those throughout the world uh, where you can just rent a van and go on a little road trip and kind of see whether that is for you or not. So I've put together a blog which has got like most of the information about how I made the van, what materials I used and things like that and kind of the main construction techniques. Uh, if you follow this link, you'll be able to find it.